What's up guys? Kowalski here from Temple Order Airsoft. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install some new parts on your Polar Star. Um, here's my PR200. Uh, I received this from Polar Star Airsoft last week. Um, fantastic gun. It's excellent. Um, and I received my parts from Amped Airsoft. Uh, both of those links will be in the description below, even though I'm sure you know them already. Um, so what I'm going to be showing you to install today is this. It's a Redlines Airsoft uh, M4 Plate Connect. Uh, allows you to have the air hose hook up behind, underneath your buffer tube, um, behind your receiver, instead of having it come out the bottom like I have here. Um, I have Amp's uh, Grip Line Connect here. Fantastic. Love it. Um, but I, I want to try out the, uh, the Plate Connect. Um, so we're going to go ahead here and um, get started on breaking down the Polar Star and to get to the Fusion Engine. Alright guys, so once you pull your Fusion Engine out of your body, um, you can start to disassemble it even further. Uh, I'm just going to go over the parts real quick that come with the kit. Um, you have the, the 90 degree angle, um, you have the hose, the, uh, the fill nozzle, and the, um, the actual sling plate with the threads for the nozzle and a nifty little cover for the nozzle itself. Um, so we can go ahead to start to take apart the fusion engine. Take off the faceplate, take off the trigger, trigger plate, actually I could probably just leave that in there. Um, I like to take off my, my data cable because it's just easier to work with. And now we can remove the old hose right here, we'll flip this around. Like so, it pulls out just like that. <clears throat> okay, guys, um, now we're going to start to install the uh, 90 degree angle. Um, this simply just fits right into where the hose came from. Just push it up in there, it'll click, and it's good to go. It's not going to move. Um, next thing is to take the hose that was uh, given in the kit and just slide it in there until it locks as well. You'll know when it locks, it's like just putting in any other um, quick disconnect. And that's pretty much it for the um, internal side. I'm going to put the fusion, back, fusion engine back together and we'll get it in the body to test fit for the hose and um, everything else. Okay guys, here's what it's going to start to look like um, with your fusion engine in your body. Um, you're going to have the, the plate right here, um, which includes the hose that comes out and here's a fill nipple. Um, you can start to cut down the size of the hose here until um, you can actually screw in the nipple into the plate itself where it will stay there. Um, this basically just keeps the, uh, the filled nipple from coming loose basically and it's basically just a, a slip on and a slip off so there's no it's not going to stay on there, there's no um, prying it to get off. Um, so once you go ahead and do that then you can get it secured to the plate and then you can start to put the uh, rest of the body back together. Alright guys, so uh, there you have it. Um, I've completely um, reinstalled uh, my Fusion Engine to my lower, at least. You know, minus the stock and everything else. Um, so, the, the air nipple comes out right here. Um, it's got the cool little cover so you can keep dust out of it and stuff. Um, pops right off, hooks right in. Um, I don't have any leaks or anything. Goes in just like that. Um, so there you go. Uh, I'm gonna test this out in the field and uh, see how it feels and uh, works. So stay tuned for a gameplay video, um, more tech videos as we get more toys in, um, and I'll see you out in the field.